Hello Libra. This is a full Celtic cross reading, basically for mid-November and on. Full Celtic cross, like I said, for new energies, positive energies come in for Libra. Full Celtic cross. Those born a zodiac sign of Libra. Sun moon rising. Something's trying to come out. If it's meant to be, it'll come out. See what new energies are coming in. I always look for a positive reading, as you know, but if we don't get one, we work through it, you know? Always got to give an honest reading coming in. Knight of Pentacles. Something is uh, coming in that's slow, but it's stable. For some of you, you could be dealing with the Earth sign, but whatever's coming in, it's, it's a definitely a... Uh, you know, something that brings long-term stability sometimes or information that's long that's long term, that's stable for you in your life that is gonna make you feel better in the long run, I should say. <clears throat> You're coming untrapped with the eight of swords in reverse. You're breaking free from something. Maybe you have been ill, maybe you've been not having enough money, maybe you've just been whatever you've been going through. It hasn't been where you thought you could get through it, but it shows you breaking free from something. What's crossing it is the Ace of Swords. It's possibly cutting things away. You can break free. It's saying that you are, but you, it's saying that you may not be able to cut everything out that you want to, or maybe you're afraid to with the Ace of Swords. You know, to take a new beginning and do what you need to do. What's crowning you is the Three of Pentacles in reverse. You feel like no one's collaborating with you. No one's working with you. So you must make a decision as a foundation of where you want to go next. It's very crucial that you make this decision so you can go on. And I'm going to clarify these. When I get finished with the Celtic Cross, you know I clarify. I can change the story up, so stick with me. Plus, I'll probably give you a three-card love rating at the end. In the past, you're dealing with the Knight of Rods, a passionate new beginning. Maybe this is what you were wanting. Maybe this is the kind of person you were dealing with. Someone that's like got a lot of energy. And they're heading straight for you. They're, um, could be a fire sign. But like I see, when I see this, I see someone getting a spark of energy. <clears throat> they very well could be Libra saying, well, what well, hasn't been working for me, I'm going to let it work for me. I'm going to cut free from it. But to cut free or break free, you got to cut things out. And you're going to make a decision because something wasn't collaborating. Something wasn't working with you. Near future, the emperor. You're going to be dealing with someone who's a little out of control or out of control situations or someone over controlling you're dealing with. Possible future outcome and advice from the universe is to go within and think about your next move and don't tell everybody what you're doing. What is coming towards you is the Queen of Cups in reverse. She's a very emotional person, a very emotional upset from an outside source. And also I can see someone a little out of control. It could be because you are breaking free from something. Your hopes and fears is... is um, a new stable beginning. You're hoping for a new stable beginning with the Ace of Pentacles. And remember, if you think towards this, that'll happen. It most likely can happen if you go for it. Don't get any doubts in your mind. That's what I'm saying. Is a universe saying go within and think about your next move. Make a decision where you want to go in life. Because that's what you're going to do anyway. In the end, you're taking on your crown of the King of Swords. King of Swords is a very powerful person when they take on their crown. People go to them for advice. They're very honest, straightforward, and they don't mince words. And I believe this is your energy as an air energy. So it looks like you're breaking, like I said, free from something. Maybe even having to cut things out. Maybe it's kind of going to be hard to do for some reason for some of you. For whatever reason, we're going to find out more information now. So let's go back to the beginning of the Eight of Swords and reverse an Ace of Swords crossing it. What are you doing? How are you breaking free? Let's see what it'll tell you how you're doing it. I need two cards, for, please, for this subject in hand. Two cards, please. King of Pentacles. Yeah, you're breaking free man, from an unhappy situation, something that didn't, didn't bring you full contentment, emotional contentment. And maybe you're wanting to be um, more financial, financially independent, with the King of Pentacles. It also could be some of you are dealing with the Earth sign. Um, but I'm thinking a lot of you are taking on this energy where you need to be more practical in what you're wanting to do in life. And I think you realize that. Now what crowns you is the Three of Pentacles in reverse. You don't want to collaborate with something anymore. Maybe you're tired of over controlling situations, over emotional situations. So I need two cards for the Three of Pentacles, please. Three, two cards for the Three of Pentacles. Libra. 
you're no longer willing to hate, uh, well, hang around anymore, and you got the Knight of Wands. So I think you're passionately going forward towards something else. Um, like I said, the only drawback I think I see in this is that you're going to have to deal with people and let them know what you're doing, and they're not going to be happy about it. But you already made your made up your mind in this. You got the judgment as the foundation, making a sound decision and a final decision on what you need to do. So I need two cards for the judgment card for Libra. Two cards, please. Ace of Cups. Yeah, you're thinking you're making a final decision. You don't want to accept anything anymore that you're not wanting with the Ace of Cups. You're not going to offer anybody anything unless it's, it's uh, going to allow your ships to come in. Because whenever you did in the past or whatever you were dealing with people that are out of control or were emotional, things that you needed to break free from, um, you didn't see anything good coming in from it with the Three of Wands in reverse. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is out. I had the flu for a long time. I still do. That's why I'm so late in giving the readings. Now, in the past, you got the Knight of Rods and you got the um, Knight of Wands. They're both the same energy, both a fire sign, and they're both very passionate, moving forward. And you're looking towards you're looking towards something else. And it looks like you find it, but I got to find out what is involved in this. So, the Knight of Rods. I need two more cards for you. Why are you passionately moving forward to where you want to go? I do believe that's your energy or some of you. Yeah, you're moving. You're moving quickly away from something, from a more passionate beginning or energy for the future with a chariot because you didn't have enough with the Five of Pentacles. You felt like you were going to go broke. You felt like it was going to put you in poverty, whatever you were dealing with, or make you feel left out. Okay? And for some of you, you may make someone else feel this way while you're breaking free, you know? Maybe people are wanting you to do one thing and you're wanting to do another. Now, in the very near future, when you decide to do what you need to do, um, someone's going to get a little controlling on you. They may lose their temper with the emperor in reverse. Even you can take on this energy and lose your temper when you're trying to break free from something and you're um, coming, coming against resistance. So, in the very near future, the emperor, why are you there? Need two cards, please. The very near future. Yeah, you're looking. Yeah, you're, uh, you're wanting to break free, like I said, from a situation. But you got the Nine of Swords here of, in reverse. So you're coming out of anxiety, coming out of a nightmare situation. And you thought about it for a while. You thought about it. This is the Nine of Wands thinking about their next move, where they're going to go next, where they're going to put their energy out. Because something is out of control. It starts out with an un out of control situation or someone over controlling. What am I going to do about this with the Nine of Wands? I need to come out of anxiety. I can't sleep at night when this is going on. That's what you're saying to yourself. So you're going to be dealing with somebody, like I said, maybe a little over controlling with you. Or, you know, maybe you're a little over-controlling. Could go both ways. But I do see you uh, pondering the next move just so you can get out of the cycle, you know. So you do go within. The universe says to go within with the hermit. It could be advice or actual that this is what you do. You start thinking about things uh, intensely. And I see that with the King of Swords being very intelligent that does this also. So it doesn't surprise me these two are together. So the hermit, two cards please. Why are you going within? Why are you going within? I need two cards, please. And then, like I said, I'll give you a love reading. <clears throat> yeah, you're looking, yeah. Okay, you're going to get on top of things. You're going to do what's right by you with the Seven of Wands. See, you're getting on top, and everybody's below you, and you're going, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, get out of the way, you know? And you got the Two of Wands here where you have to make a decision whether to stick with one thing in the past as a safety net or going forward to what you're wanting to do. So that's what you're going to be doing at um, the end of this month, deciding where you want to go in life. You are going to make a decision on it, but now you've got to decide which direction you're going in. Now what's coming towards you is the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups is a little out of sorts, a little emotional um, when she's in reverse. Maybe she feels like... Or he feels like, because it could be either or, male or female. Um, things aren't going right with you. and Maybe they don't want you to make this um, change in your life and break free. Or maybe, you know, it could be anything. Maybe they don't want you to make the decisions that you're going to make of a passionate beginning. Not going passion, doing something you passionately love. They may feel like, um, they may feel left out. All kind of reasons. But I need two cards. So the Queen of Cups in reverse while you're there is the outside environment coming towards Libra. What's going on? Two cards, please. Yeah, someone's not happy. And they may start an argument with you. 
with the Five of Wands. It's not going to be a really super big argument with the Five of Wands. When I see a um, knockout, drag out type thing, it's usually the Five of Swords. But the Five of Wands, someone may get a little argument with you because they're not happy with what you're doing. It's not like they're the worst person in the world doing this. They're just not happy with what you're doing, okay? And you may be going towards something they don't want you to go towards. But you're looking for this stable new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles. And I needed two cards. What what are you what are you looking for, Libra? What is your stable beginning, your new beginning? Why is it there? You're going to put an end to something. You want a new stable beginning. You're going to put an end to things that don't work for you. I did see that a lot of that. You know, with the eight, um, um, the eight of swords in reverse, nine of swords in reverse. You are breaking free from an unhappy situation. You're making a final decision, and you're not going to change from it. Um, and you would, because you want to come out of not having enough, like I said, being disappointed with the five of cups in reverse. In the end, I told you, get your, you got your crown on, you got everything you want, you're going for what you're wanting. And you see the king of swords, you know, he's got that look on his face like, you can't stop me. And that's what's going to happen with Libra. Libra's got their mind made up. They're going to do what they want. So king of swords in the upright, two cards, please. And then we'll give the love reading. Two cards for the king of swords. Oh, yeah, you're taking on your crown. Maybe the Queen of Cups is going to join you in the end. Queen of Cups is here. The outside environment, she's not happy. He's not happy what you're doing. But you take control and say, I'm doing this. You're either with me or without me. You know, either for me or you're against me. And you're going to let this person know, I think they're going to support you in the end. Whoever this is, is going to support your situation in the end. You're going to take control. Where you had the Emperor in reverse here where things were out of control, they become more in control at the end. Um, in your favor. Someone is going to feel like um, a little betrayed when you do this. I don't think this is you feeling this way with the Ten of Swords, or it could be maybe that's why you're ending something or breaking free because it just messed you over every time you went for it or stayed in the past. So you're going forward to something. For some of you, um, somebody will feel this way around you that because you're going forward with something, they may feel a little left out and stabbed in the back and things of that nature. But you are telling people you are taking control and going for what you're wanting. I do, people, I do feel that people are going to be a little upset when you do do this, but you need to, to um, get what you're wanting in life with the two ones, going for better things that, you know, that will help you survive, you know, give you the Ace of Pentacles, that new stable beginning with the Knight of Pentacles, you know, things that stay around for a while. Now I'm going to give you a love reading. I'll be right back. Hello, Libra. This is a three-card love reading. Continuing from the last reading, it may pick up from there and give the same reading or tell us more about the original reading or give us a whole different reading on love. So I need three cards for love reading for Libra. Three card love reading for Libra. And if it needs more cards, I'll draw more cards. But I need three cards, Sun, Moon, and Rising for Libra, middle of November and on. Let's see what we got here. First, love yourself first. That makes sense. That that kind of resembles the the original reading there. That you got to take care of yourself. You got to do things for what you need to do in life. You know, your self respect makes you more attractive anyway. When people see you taking, you know, you're on your crown, you look more attractive. Um, they have more respect for you also. You can express your love. Go ahead and make a romantic gesture to somebody. So I did see at the end there, if it has anything to do with that last reading, you do end up with somebody with more control that has more control over themselves. Also, the emotions are back in check. So express your love. It's okay. But the first, you love it yourself. When you love yourself, you know, and you look better between uh, other people or to towards other people, they're going to they're gonna express their love to you also. Just be more confident. Know what you're wanting and, and do what you need to do and then after you do that love will come in you know usually yeah stay optimistic about your love life so it's going to get better even though things are out of control and people kind of tell you they don't want you to do this or that or argument of 
arguing with you constantly. Realize that um, you got to stand up for yourself, you know, take control for yourself. And then only then can love really come in and you could express it more and they will respect you and listen to you more. So it says stay optimistic, okay? Don't let this get you down. If you're having a blip or an argument or out or, you know, when he outs with somebody, it seems like something does work out for you. And you get your emotional contentment at the end. You get your crown on and you're able to uh, carry on again. So go ahead. Stand up for yourself. Do what you need to do. It's going to work out. Okay, Libra? I'm going to let this go and I will talk to you later. Bye.